Welcome to At the Public Library, the video source for news and information about the San Francisco Public Library system. This month's show features a goodbye to the old main library and a Martin Luther King Jr. birthday observance. And of course, listings of upcoming library programs for children, teens, and adults at the public library. Stay tuned now for the San Francisco Public Library events calendar for children for the month of January. Beginning with the Visitation Valley branch where they hold a story time for children of all ages every Saturday at 12 noon. On January 5th at 4 p.m., come for a rubber stamping program for children ages 6 and over. Preschool story time happens on January 9th and the 30th at 10 and 10.45 a.m. On January 17th, a preschool video program at 10 and 10.45 a.m. And on January 24th, a preschool craft program, also at 10 and 10.45 a.m. That's all at the Visitation Valley Branch Library, located at 45 Leland Avenue at Bayshore. The Ingleside Branch Library has a preschool story time on January 2nd and on the 23rd at 10 a.m. Preschool films for ages 3 to 5 on January 9th and again on the 30th at 10 a.m. And on January 11th at 3.30 p.m. an after-school movie for ages 7 and over. Also at the Ingleside Branch, a Gardening for City Kids program on January 16th at 10 a.m. for kids 5 to 8 years old. And on January 19th, a craft program for all ages at 3.30 p.m. That's all at the Ingleside Branch Library at 387 Ashton Avenue near Ocean. The Merced Branch Library presents a story and craft program for children ages 6 and over on January 5th and the 19th, both at 4 p.m. And every Saturday morning at 11 a.m., a preschool story time for ages 3 to 5. After school film programs for children ages 6 and over will be at 4 p.m. on January 12th and the 26th. That's all at the Merced Branch Library, located at 155 Winston Drive at 19th. The North Beach Branch has preschool story time at 10.45 a.m. on January 4th, the 11th, and the 25th. And a preschool film program on January 18th at 10, 10.30, and 11 a.m. and again at 2.15 p.m. Also on January 18th at 3.45 p.m., an after-school film program for children ages 6 and over. And on January 11th, after-school crafts for ages 6 and over at 3.30 p.m. That's all at the North Beach Branch Library, located at 2000 Mason Street at Columbus. The Richmond Branch Library has preschool story times every Tuesday at 11 a.m., and Wednesday at 7 p.m. And a preschool film program for ages 3 to 5 on January 16th at 10.15 and 11 a.m. and January 17th at 7 p.m. That's all at the Richmond Branch Library at 351 9th Avenue near Clement. The Anza Branch has preschool story time for ages 3 to 6 on Tuesday mornings at 10.30 a.m and a family story time on Wednesday evenings at 7.15 p.m. for ages 3 and under. On January 9th, preschool films for ages 3 to 6 at 10 and 11 a.m. And on January 18th, look out for magician Dan Snyder with a show for all ages at 2.30 p.m. That's all at the Anza Branch Library at 550 37th Avenue near Anza. The Bayview Ana E. Wadden Branch Library has preschool story time at 10.15 a.m. on January 8th, the 22nd, and the 29th. And on Tuesdays at 10.15 and 10.45 a.m., there's a preschool film program. On January 24th at 4 p.m., a crafts program for school-age children ages 6 to 9. 
That's all at the Bayview Anna E. Wadden Branch Library, located at 5075 3rd Street at Revere. The West Portal Branch has preschool story times Tuesday mornings, January 2nd, 9th, 23rd, and 30th, all at 10.30 a.m. Or for a preschool story time in the evening, come any Wednesday at 7 p.m. A preschool film program will be held at 11 a.m. on January 13th. That's all at the West Portal Branch, located at 190 Lenox Way at Ulloa. The Golden Gate Valley Branch has a preschool film program on January 2nd at 10.15 a.m. featuring The Remarkable Riderless Runaway Tricycle, Curious George Rides a Bike, and The Hat. That's all at the Golden Gate Valley Branch, located at 1801 Green Street at Octavia. The Eureka Valley Branch Library has a preschool film program on Friday, January 5th at 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. That's the Eureka Valley Harvey Milk Memorial Branch Library at 3555 16th Street near Market. The Western Edition Branch Library holds its preschool film program on Tuesday, January 9th at 10.30 and 11.15 a.m. That's the Western Edition Branch Library at 1550 Scott Street at Geary. The Trip Trap Troop presents a puppet show for children of all ages, featuring Anansi the Moss-Colored Rock, the Gunny Wolf, and the Fat Cat. All on Wednesday, January 24th at 7 p.m. at the Glen Park Branch Library, located at 653 Chenery Street near Diamond. Thanks for tuning in to the San Francisco Public Library events calendar for children for the month of January. And have a happy new year. Beast sees how lonely and how sad Belle is, and he wants to make her life in the castle happier. I want to do something for her. Suddenly, Beast realizes just what will please Belle most of all. I've never seen so many books in all my life. You'll like it. It's wonderful. Then it's yours. It can be yours, too. Open the door to wonder. Get your library card. Can I get my library card, too? And now, here's some news and notes of interest about the San Francisco Public Library System for January 1996. On New Year's Eve, the Old Main Library closed its doors for the very last time. And on January 2nd, the staff of the main library began the gargantuan task of moving the main library collections to the new main library across the street. The move to the new main library will take three and a half months, and the building will open to the public on April 16th. During the move, all of San Francisco's branch libraries will be open and will continue with their regularly scheduled hours of operation and there will be some limited main library services available which will hopefully lessen the inconvenience to main library patrons. The book and AV return drop boxes will be available throughout the move and librarians will staff an information desk at the front of the main library to assist patrons in locating branch library services and provide information and referrals. From January 2nd through the 13th, the information desk will operate from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. And starting January 15th through April 15th, the information desk will be staffed during the following peak service hours, 9 to 10 a.m., 12 to 2 p.m., and 4 to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. General reference questions will be answered by TIP, the Telephone Information Program, which is available by phoning 557 4400 and limited subject department telephone reference service will be provided by phoning the art music and recreation department at 557-4525 the business science and documents department at 557-4488 and general collections humanities at 557-4545 and of course by calling your neighborhood branch library 
the very popular investment newsletters and investment advisory services are moving from the business science and documents department into temporary quarters in the basement of the West Portal Branch Library located at 190 Lenox Way. This investment advisory newsletter room will be open from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Monday through Saturday. The main library's extensive collections of sheet music and automobile and small equipment wiring diagrams will be accessed through requests from the branch libraries. And interlibrary loan requests will now be processed at all branch libraries. Children of the Tenderloin and Civic Center neighborhoods will have access to Children's Library service as the Children's Bookmobile will stop in front of the Old Main Library on Mondays and Fridays from 4 to 6 p.m. The official library postings of city agency and commission agendas and minutes will move from the Business Science and Documents Department to the office of the Library Commission Secretary located at 45 Hyde Street. Project READ will continue its literacy program throughout the move. Intake of new students, tutor training, and tutoring sessions will continue at 45 Hyde Street and other locations. Call Project READ at 557-4388 for more information. Three and a half months without a main library will certainly be an inconvenience to main library patrons, but there's really no way around it. The entire collection of the main library will be packed up, moved, unpacked, and reorganized for the new main library. That's over one million books, three million photographs, five million government documents, and thousands of magazines, videos, maps, music scores, and historical artifacts. And to top it off, more than 60,000 new books, 3,500 new videos, and 3,000 new compact discs will be added to the new main library's collection and will be available when the new main library opens on April 16, 1996. A gift of 55 new books about Armenian art and culture was presented to the San Francisco Public Library last month by the Armenian General Benevolent Union, San Francisco Chapter. The books, written in English, were selected jointly by members of the Armenian General Benevolent Union and staff of the library's General Collections Department. The donated books are mostly recently published works, ranging from books about Armenian illuminated manuscripts to biographies and examinations of Armenian culture and history. Most all these books were purchased uh, from a gift given to us by the Isabel Bohegan Memorial Fund. And we're extremely grateful for the Bohegians for this gift, without which today would not be possible. Also grateful for people who are here who've worked with our library project. And many volunteers with their expertise have helped us through these many years. And you know, I and all of us work really out of the old cliche of labor of love and I get the chance to read the books, which is a great <laughs> plus. <laughs> I've enjoyed them very much. I want to thank you um, and hope that these will be checked out at the library. Some will be reference books and that this gift will be a lasting one. Uh, it's not monetarily, this is over $1,000 worth of books, but the wealth of these books are in the historical sense in the fact that Many of us here who are of Armenian descent have great pride in our ancient heritage and we're sharing with those of you who are yet to learn. This will open up a new, a new uh, adventure for you to read about the past and very interesting current times with, in Armenia and about Armenians in the diaspora. City librarian Kenneth Dallin accepted the generous donation of books which will be cataloged and added to the main library collection. The, as an institution, our, our goal really is to increase access to information and knowledge and lifelong learning and the joys of reading for our many diverse populations. Our goal here is to create an institution that values our diversity in San Francisco, but also brings all of our diversity together 
in our collections and in our institutions so that out of the diversity that we bring, we can also create shared values for a greater community. And I think that's one of our strengths in this city is taking from all cultures and all histories. And as I see you, I met new folks today, some people I've worked with before. Um, and so I consider you're not just giving us the books, but you're giving us your heritage, your culture, your hopes and your dreams, and your hearts. So we thank you for that. May I just a caveat to that is that we've donated the books and now we're ready to now we're ready to have you purchase books and we'll keep an eye okay. to be sure yeah. that you have okay. you're purchasing wonderful Armenian books in English. That's a deal. And we'll be in touch about that. Okay, that's a deal. Thank you. This wonderful addition to the main library collection will be available to the public when the new main library opens in April. The Excelsior Branch Library will be closed until January 25th for the installation of a new floor. While the Excelsior Branch is closed, patrons may wish to visit the nearby Glen Park Branch at 653 Chenery Street, the Portola Branch at 2450 San Bruno Avenue, or the Mission Branch at 3359 24th Street. And now this final note, all of the San Francisco public libraries will be closed on Monday, January 15th, in observance of the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its dream. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. To read more about Martin Luther King Jr., check out these titles available at the San Francisco Public Library. Martin Luther King Jr., To the Mountaintop, by William Roger Witherspoon. Let the Trumpet Sound, The Life of Martin Luther King Jr., by Stephen B. Oates. And Martin Luther King Jr., a documentary, Montgomery to Memphis, edited by Flip Schulke. Friends for Life volunteers bring the riches of the San Francisco Public Library to people who can no longer visit the library themselves. Friends for Life volunteers provide a link between the San Francisco Public Library and people with AIDS or HIV disease. If you would like to be a Friends for Life volunteer or you are in need of the services Friends for Life provides, call 557-4352 for more information. Was this man, the Stratford man, really the great author Shakespeare, or was it this man, Edward de Vere, Earl of Oxford? The question we should be asking is, was the name Shakespeare really a pen name, shaking a sphere or poking fun at people? The name was often printed with a hyphen, emphasizing this description. The Shakespeare authorship question has been debated for over 200 years. Why? Because even university scholars will admit that no evidence at all links the Stratford man to the Shakespeare plays. Meanwhile, the Earl of Oxford, a highly regarded dramatist who was known to write anonymously, has a great deal of circumstantial evidence in his favor. I'm Catherine Children, a Shakespeare researcher. 
I want you, the public, to know the facts about the Stratford man and the Earl of Oxford so you can decide who really wrote the timeless Shakespeare plays. Come to my slide lecture Wednesday, January 10th at 7 p.m. at the Eureka Valley Branch Library. I guarantee you it'll change your perception of Shakespeare forever. Also on Wednesday, January 10th at 7 p.m., the Noe Valley Sally Brunn Branch Library will present the classic documentary film, Nanook of the North, Robert Flaherty's great epic portrait of Eskimo life. Produced in 1922, Nanook of the North is among the first documentary films ever made and continues to be one of the finest. This 16 millimeter screening of Nanook of the North will begin at 7 p.m. at the Noe Valley Sally Brunn Branch Library, located at 451 Jersey Street. It has stood majestically as a people's palace of knowledge, information, and enrichment for 78 years. It has welcomed and nourished readers, dreamers, scholars, and seekers of all types and all ages. On December 31st, the Old Main will turn the final page and close the book on its life as San Francisco's main public library. It has served its patrons well and will forever be a part of this city's heart. In a few years, the Old Main will be transformed and live again as the home of the Asian Art Museum. Let's take one last look around as we bid a fond farewell and a grateful goodbye.
Thanks for watching at the Public Library here on CityWatch Cable Channel 54. And we'll see you at the Public Library.